practice inside today. It's filled so wet from raining. Last time I saw rain like this was when we had the flood five years ago. I've never seen it rain like, you know, just kind of be overcast. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, so I uh, thought we did uh, well out there today and uh, getting ready to go down and play a, a really good UCLA team, extremely athletic, and they score pu points in the bucket loads. They're really good. Questions? Review and film. Uh, it didn't seem like most of the mistakes were fairly correctable. Yeah, I, and I'm not really going to talk about the Washington game. I've answered all those Sunday. We're moving on to UCLA. Mike, when you look at the Pac-12, I know there's parity every year, but does it seem like this year might even be more? I think it is. I think, it's, I think every year it is. I, I mean, it's, it's a great question. I just think that every year there's anybody can beat anybody. Um, I believe that. Um, even the years we weren't very good, we could have won a few of those games. <laughs> we're right there. We went to with a great UCLA team. We went you know, double overtime out here. A game was back and forth down at their place, um, and they were, you know, I think 20 or so points favorites or whatever. So um, I think in throughout this league, I think last week everybody would have thought that Oregon would have walked over Arizona State and Arizona State beat them. So I think every week in this league, anybody can beat anybody. It's a lot of great coaches and a lot of really great players. As we're watching the film your offensive line, how would you evaluate how they did the other day? Again, I'm saying I'm moving on from Washington and I'm moving on to UCLA. I answer those questions Sunday, but, uh, Saturday. Do you think that group is getting better? Did you see um, some good things from them? Like as they've, as they've gone along? Yeah, we've got to play better against UCLA to score more points. Um, they score points in the bucket. I think they're averaging 40 something points a game. I mean, so we're going to have to play better on the offensive line. Um, I thought that we held our own. Um, but we've got to play much better um, and uh, be able to uh, create more points. And that goes for everybody on offense and then defensively we've got to be able to, we were holding our own there for a little bit and then let it um, bust through on the run there. So uh, we didn't finish the game like we wanted. we got to do that on both sides of the lines in this game, next game. What is it with you guys in UCLA? You talked about it two, three years ago. It seems like every year this, yeah, no matter what the spread is or how good yeah, one team um, is. Yeah, I think yeah, last year's game, I mean, it's just going to be a close, hard-fought game, I believe. Um, that's just the way it is. And um, So I, I think that, uh, um, you know, they're, they're – you know, they're extremely talented. And, uh, of course, you know, you can say all you want about their quarterback, Josh Rosen. He can make every throw, every play. You know, watching the Texas A&M game again on uh, film, I still can't believe they came back and won it. And it shows what they, the ability they have to do that and the resiliency uh, by their coaching staff and their um, players to be able to do that was pretty spectacular. Got a little chippy between you and UCLA last year. Is that a conversation you have to kind of try to avoid that happening again? I, uh, you know, we just got to play, definitely play in between the whistles and uh, and do all that. Um, I haven't. Um, uh, uh, we, we, we'll, that's something I'll mention to them for sure. Uh, but it's going to definitely be a physical game. We just both teams need to keep it in between the whistles. So a third of the way through the season, how surprised you that your offense is 11th in the <laughs> Um, I would expect us to be better, and uh, I think we definitely we won't end up 11. So we'll end up somewhere higher than that. Hope it's higher than 10, but we won't end up 11. How much do you see James Stefano as a weapon, you know, kind of knowing you can trot him out there for field goals, 40 plus? Yeah, he's been kicking really well, um, and uh, I've been, you know, very pleased with him. You know, we, you know, we, he, if he wouldn't have got hurt there right before the CSU game, um, I think, you know, he probably wouldn't have missed any at this point. But he had come back, he didn't kick all week, so he was kicking so good and uh, got, kind of got nicked up a little bit, but now he's back full speed and, and, and doing really well. So yeah, he's definitely a weapon that we can count on, and been pleased with what he's done. But our snappers have been snapping and good. Um, JT, TJ, our JT and TJ. TJ's the holder. JT's the snapper. They've been doing a great job of doing all that. We've been protecting well. So it takes all of them, um, but I'm very confident in his ability to kick it. Is this a week when your senior leadership really kind of has to step up? Uh, after a loss like this, and, and yeah, I think, into yeah, the Pac-12. Yeah, I think definitely every week it needs to be. Um, you know, I thought they did a great job last week um, with the guys and, and explaining to them what a lot of some of the young guys were walking into. Um, and then uh, hopefully we'll make a, a a big jump this week um, and uh, and play better, kind of like uh, we felt like we did as we went through the other games. Hopefully we'll make another big jump. Um, with our team, you know, because the speed of the game, the size of the game, the size of the guys, the accuracy of the passers is just better. Um, and some of the quarterbacks and some of the players that we play, and this is exactly what we'll see at UCLA's offense. Anything else, Coach? Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.